Hey guys, what's going on with you? Um, and in today's video, I just want to talk about something that has been happening with COD for years and years and years. Honestly, this is nothing new to the COD community. If you have been around for a while, you would have seen exactly what I am talking about. And if you haven't, this is going to really make everything come to mind. So, I started playing Call of Duty multiplayer round about Call of Duty forwards when COD was super basic. It had perks that were very basic ones, just ones that either, either give you more health, give you more penetration damage through walls, made you have more mags, and some of them made you reload faster. It wasn't any of this complex pro perks or divisions, what you see now in these current new Call of Duties. And what we've seen in years and years and years of CODs is bad players being rewarded. Now, when I first started playing Call of Duty, which was in COD 4, World of War, you didn't get rewarded for being a bad player. In Modern Warfare 2, you kind of got rewarded for being a bad player. So if you died six times in a row, I think it was, you got a perk called Painkiller, which was essentially a perk that gave you... Honestly, it's an insane amount of health for just your spawn time, which I guess it's not that too bad. But honestly, when you're on a 25 kill streak and you have been shredding these kids, you have spent hours and hours and hours into getting good at this game just to then get somebody who's been rewarded for literally dying and has been given a death streak to then given more health. And honestly, guys, Painkiller is so overpowered. Anyone who plays MW2, or even if you haven't, and you go back to playing it now, and you go come up against someone against Painkiller, you will realise how AIDS that really is. And imagine yourself being in a position where you're in a 25 kill streak, 24 even, you one-off a nuke, and you come up against someone like that. Now, that's just in Modern Warfare 2. In the other CODs, it's actually pretty decent, you know what I mean? Like, MW3 had support streaks, but nothing was really too lethal other than the Stealth Bomber. And then you come to World War 2, and Advanced Warfare, which are both Sledgehammer game CODs. Now let's get an into Advanced Warfare first. So you're probably thinking, hey, how did that reward people who aren't good at the game? Um, pretty much, skill-based matchmaking was a big hit of that. People don't play Call of Duty to get matched up and have a really competitive game. In fact, if you want to have a competitive game, there are separate play playlists for that. In Black Ops 2, there was replay. In um, the Sledge of My Games card, Advanced Warfare, there was a mode for that. In Black Ops 3, there was a mode for that. And in World War 2, there is still currently a mode for that, which is called MLG Game Battles, which a lot of the people who like to come up against people with similar skill levels to those guys and have a really competitive, good match, they can go in them playlists and do that. But in Advanced Warfare, the pub matches. There was no such thing as sort of, sort of pub stomping. You'd have to literally buy a god account because if you're going to try and pub stomp, get a high KD and stuff like that, get good stats, you would get put up against people with the exact same stats as you. It was like, no, screw connection. Connection did not matter in Advanced Warfare. If you had a 2KD and you got matched with another 2KD lobby that was over in Japan because that was the only lobby going that had similar stats to yours, then that's the lobby you would get in and you would be literally be on either shit connection, a good connection. It didn't really care. It, all that was bothered about is matching you with players with a similar skill level to you. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think a lot of us, I think 90% of the COD community get on COD to shit on kids. Not get matched with the opponents that are exactly the same as them. That is not fun. That is not COD. If you want to if you want to get if you want to play a game like that, Go either play the selected game mode, which allows you to do that, or go play Counter-Strike, where it actually gives you a solid rank that matches you up against players who are the same skill level, essentially, to you. Now, in World War 2, it isn't that so bad. It's not so bad at all, actually. Apart from, Requisition is the aids of World War 2. The aids. Everyone who is shit at this game uses Requisition. And do you want to know why? Because you can get your streaks once for free. There has been many occasions where I've either been streaking, I've been holding a dirty KD, I've been monstering an absolute beast mode gameplay that I was going to use for our commentary at some point in stage. But instead, the enemy teammates are using requisition and they are getting all their streaks and it just honestly melts you. Literally melts you. 
And I don't even know why there are perks like this that still exist, exist in COD today. And now I'm not just saying this because I'm a salty guy. I've had to grind my ass off to get to the current point in stage that I'm at with COD. I have not been gifted it by giving skill based matchmaking on my first card. I have not been gifted it by giving death streaks on my first card. I've literally created myself into this good player, decent player that I think I am in pubs. I know I'm not good in comp at all, I'm not saying I am, but I've sort of formed myself in a position where I am good enough at this video game, Call of Duty, to be able to streak, get high kill streaks, keep good stats. And that is literally off years and years and years playing. But what you've got is these shit kids coming in, being rewarded for being shit by giving kill streaks for free. And I just don't understand that whole concept of that. Like, you're not helping them out, and you're not helping yet like the enemy team out. You're not doing anything. Like, you're not getting better at the game by running requisition. You are essentially not streaking yourself. You are not getting on any kill streak. The only kill, the only reason why these kids are half, half the time go positive is because at the end of the game, when they get 1,200 score, which will get your paratroopers, and then once you got your paratroopers, that's going to even get more kills for you, which will let you go positive. And then you'll end up getting one of the dumbass fucking aeroplanes that you've literally not done anything for, or what you've been doing all game is literally just getting shot on and probably capping the odd flag every now and then. And these people are the type of people who are not gonna get good at COD because they're not pres they're not, they're not like going through the shitty stages that probably most of us in the COD community who are good to this day have been. And honestly, I just want COD to change. I just don't want to see this in Black Ops 4. We didn't really see it much in Black Ops 3. But just stop rewarding the people who are shit at the game. Like honestly, god damn it, man. Like I still haven't had like a V2 rocket yet. And there's been some chances where I've been on 20 kill streaks, 25, 15 kill streaks. Well, not 25 because I'd obviously have one, but 15 kill streaks. And Requisition has literally pulled my pants down and just bummed me off streaks. And it's actually getting annoying. And I've only been playing World War II for, pff, I don't know, god knows how long. I say two weeks. Two weeks I've been straight grinding this game. And I'm literally losing my shit because of this stupid little Requisition perk. So that is my rant for today, boys. I want to see what you guys think of this and if you agree, because I think a lot of us old school members who have been playing the COD and have been around in the COD community for a while, we all know the grinding that we have to pull off to get to this stage of the game that we are currently at. So thanks guys for watching. I've been WizXBR and I'm out. Peace. Catch you guys in the next one.